Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Mellow7 Gaming, and today we're taking a look at Celasta, Crown of the Magister. It is finally out of early access into its full release. You see at the top there, we are on version 1.0.15. Um, we put about 50 hours into the early access of it, and now I think it's time to go ahead and we'll do a... We're going to try to do a full playthrough on this. We'll see how it goes. Um, as of the day recording this, I am actually... Um, out of town on vacation, and I've got about three days of uh, driving in front of me. Uh, not full days, taking taking my time going back. But uh, I'm gonna try to get a couple episodes recorded and up, uh, just off the laptop. And then when you know we get home, we can do some more stuff. Uh, you know, hopefully maybe a little bit higher quality uh, than we're putting out uh, at the moment. But I wanted to make sure we got something out with the launch, so you guys know that know that we're doing what we're doing. So let's go ahead and we will pick a new adventure. And we're going to do Crown of the Magister. I don't think we have any other options. No, it's just we can do some user campaigns there. But we'll select the normal one there. Uh, difficulty mode, authentic mode. Uh, let's see what our options are here. We've got story mode, explore mode. Players who want authentic tabletop rule set. Okay, scavenger. And cataclysm. I think we'll just go for authentic mode for now. Um, yeah, I think that'll be fine. And so we'll go ahead and start game. There we go. I had a little bit of trouble finding that. Must assign all care. Oh, okay. So we have to create our characters first. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, these are, uh, I believe, the pre-generated characters there. So they give you a, a, a rogue, a fighter, a wizard, a cleric, a ranger, and a paladin. Um, how many characters do we need for it? Was it... I don't even remember. Was it three or four? Four. All right. Forgive me. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with uh, allergies and a headache today, so not necessarily at my, my best here. All right. So we've got four characters. What do we want? Are we... I think we go with more of a classic kind of party... Uh, composition. So, you know, fighter, rogue, wizard, cleric type of thing. So let's go ahead and maybe we'll go with a dwarf. We could go hill dwarf or snow dwarf. Did we play a snow dwarf last time? I don't remember. Uh, snow dwarf gets a bonus to dex. Uh, crossbow expertise, dark vision languages and obviously the plus two to constitution whereas the hill dwarf is kind of our has a bonus to wisdom um and dwarven toughness huh so we get a heavy crossbow but if we're going with a fighter that doesn't really help us much um, we do get a bonus to uh, Constitution saving throws, though, with the Snow Dwarf. So let's go ahead and let's go with the Snow Dwarf for our for our fighter. So we'll go next. Um, we're gonna go fighter. Do we go fighter? Do we want to go ranger for that? Um, it's a good question. I don't know. I mean, if we're gonna go with a fighter, we've obviously got options, right? We can go or with a melee class character. We can go with a fighter. We could go with a paladin, or we could go with the ranger. Um, the ranger might be a good one for this guy, especially if we have that bonus to the crossbow. So we can sit back for those fights when we need to. Um, but then maybe we specialize... I don't know. Let's, let's take a look at ranger. Let's take a look at ranger. We'll see what we want to do. We do get the bonus to dexterity for this character. So, you know, maybe that's something we want to pay attention to. Um, so, saving throw proficiency, strength, and dexterity. Uh, we get light armor, medium armor, shield. Trained to craft basic ammunition and smith's tools, arrows and bolts with smith's tools. Okay, that's good. Um, make our own ammo there. Uh, simple weapons and martial weapons. Um, and, and this gets us maybe some more useful skills than the fighter does. I don't know if this is a good idea, I'll be honest with you. Um, our other possibility could be we go with Paladin. And then maybe instead of a Cleric, we go with a Ranger and back. Or even 
I know the other character gets a bonus to wisdom, the other hill, the hill dwarf, right? Um, but we could go with a cleric with a crossbow, right? They automatically get, um, you know, light crossbow. Let's see, what do they get? Uh, simple weapons. But we would get the big crossbow, right, for being the... Uh, we get heavy crossbow with him. So that could be pretty cool. So if we did that, and then we, so we say cleric, divine domains. Um, let's see, what do we got? Elemental, okay, ice. Okay, they're granted at level one. Let's just hit next and see where it takes us. So what what could what would our deities be? We've got Arun, primordial god of elements and patron of adventures. Not too bad. Peasants and hermits. So we got me in there too. Um, the oldest deity, the one to whom humanity first prayed. Okay. So neutral alignment, elemental fire, ice, and lightning, and sun. Okay, so very much an elemental one. Now in the past we played primarily kind of healing type classes. Um, you know, of course, if we go with the cleric, yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm still figuring out what we're going to go with. Um, we've got Einar, uh, Valor and Fidelity, uh, the Blade is a Militant Order, Bulwark Against Chaos and Evil, the Shield is an Order of Protectors, uh, the Beacon is an Order of uh, Itinerant Preachers. Okay, Lawful Good, Battle and Law, uh, Goddess of Life and Death, Neutral Good, Life and Oblivion. And Pakri, um, the goddess of law and knowledge. Okay. I'm kind of thinking, honestly, if we go Arun, what if we go with a cleric, a paladin, a ranger, and a rogue, and we skip the wizard? We do more of our healing with our paladin, and we use our cleric as more of our damage dealer with the heavy crossbow when we find one? I like that. And then so I'm kind of, we can go fire, elemental... Uh, fire, ice, lightning, or the sun. Um, hmm. Lightning-based attacks. Cold base might be interesting. Let's go elemental cold. He is a snow dwarf, after all, right? I think that makes I think that makes sense. I don't, you know, and so we're going to get Thunderstorm, Fog, Thunder Wave, Fog Cloud, Levitate, Misty Step, Lightning Bolt, Fly, Ice Storm. Okay. And we get Ray of Frost for our cantrip. We'll probably use the, the crossbow more than the the cantrip, but um, for kind of just base damage dealing, but that's okay. All right, so our options, an academic, an acolyte, an aristocrat, a lawkeeper, a philosopher, low life, cell sword, and spy. Let's go acolyte. We may as well. We'll stick with our, our deal here. So they get religion, nature, and insight, proficient with an herbalism kit. Um, we got some background equipment there. So we need to pick two, lawfulness, altruism, violence, and caution. Well, I would say we went with more of an elemental kind of more aggressive type. So let's go Let's go violence, but altruism, right? And then down here, I get two more. Um, and we're kind of playing on both sides, aren't we? We try to help those in need, but we tend to find solutions that are violent. I like that. I think that works for us. Um, those are pretty good roles, to be honest. Um... We could do the point by, but I'm not a fan of the point by. Should we just go with what we got here? Uh, I don't really see a problem with this. Are we going to... Uh, that's a good question. What are we going to do for our dice rolls? Are we just going to take our first one? All right, this is what we're going to do. We either take the first one. So if we get a great first roll, we'll take it. Otherwise, we will hit re-roll three times. And we'll go with whatever that third one is regardless. So... This is the, you get a chance to see this one and make a decision. Otherwise, you get whatever the one is, right? And I think that is good. We're not going to roll 8 billion times and pick the perfect characters. We, we don't need to do that. So, I think what I want is... I'm going to get plus 2 for a constitution anyway. Let's drop the 16 there. 
I'm going to drop our 17 in Wisdom. I'm going to put a 14 here. We put the 13 here. That's going to boost us up to 14 and get us the bonus. Um, we're going to give him an 8, and then we'll go with a Charisma of 12. You know, he's got to, you know, you got to have some Charisma if you're going to preach, right? Um, so I like that. I think that works pretty well. So we do take a little bit of a hit for our INT, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Maybe that's why we tend to find violent solutions rather than more creative solutions. Uh, we're just not smart enough to really think our way through some of these, maybe. Um, I like that. That's a good idea. So, what do we got up here? So, these are our stats right there. Um, we get a couple of skills here. We get two class skills. Um, so, we can take history, medicine, or persuasion. I think I'm going to take one point in medicine and one point in persuasion. Again, get back onto that preacher thing. And we get a background language. Um, you know what? I'll go... Hmm. I'll go old to Marian, right? We're 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 uh, worshiping the old god. There's probably a decent chance that some of those old texts and stuff are in Tamarian that we want to access. So we're going to go with that. I think that ties in well with what we've got. So I get three class cantrips. Now, like I say, we do plan on using our uh, crossbow as our damage weapon. So we don't necessarily need to pick a damage one. Um, I like this because we can light torches and stuff on fire. That's a really good one. Shine. Enemy becomes luminous for a while. That's not a bad one either. Um, what's guidance for? Increases ability checks. Oh, I like that. Let's go for that and let's go for shine. So we can light up a bad guy. We can spare the dying. So automatically stabilize someone. Sparkle to light things up, and then we've got Ray of Frost for uh, for direct damage that we get just for for our uh, because we went cold. I like that. So that is our first character. Hello, Cooper. My dad's dog is back here to help us out. So if you hear some jangling collars, he's here to give us a give us some support. Um, names. Let's start with Clan. Black Shield. Okay, uh, that's not bad. Tall Barrel. Apparently, we have a limited number of names. Strong Hammer, Stout Shield, Barley Brew. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to write our own. We're going to be Ice Hammer. Right? We'll stick with our snow thing there. And his first name, we'll hit it four times. Whatever we have, we have. One, two, three, four. Javelin Ice Hammer. All right, there we go. Um, I don't mind the way he looks. I don't really... Th I don't think the character generation or the... the this portion of the game is its strong suit. I don't really see a need to play through this a lot. He doesn't look bad now. There are some haircuts that are absolutely horrendous. I do like the beard moving around. Uh, hair moves a little bit too. So I think we just go with this. I think that he looks like a javelin to me. We'll call him. I don't know what we're going to call him. I was going to say we call him Lin, but you know that maybe he doesn't like that. So we'll finish him. So there is our... Hey, we... Uh, I need healing. Achievement unlocked. All right. So next character. So now we still need a fighter. We still need some sort of rogue lock-picking type of person. Um, I think we're going to go human paladin then. Maybe that makes sense. Um, sure. Gave us a female automatically when we started this one. That will be fine. And we'll go Paladin. And this is she's going to get us some of our healing, but also be kind of our sword and board uh, character. And uh, do we stick with the same god? I mean, is that why these two are together? That's not a terrible idea. Uh... Let's see where that leads us. Let's see what that, that takes us down the road on. Um, and I kind of think, you know, maybe aristocrat for her, right? You know, you got to be rich to get in to be a paladin, right? I mean, that's that's just how it is. You know, it takes money. Um, so I'm going to go authority and egoism for her. And we'll stick with these here, right? So there's... Oh, they go back. They're opposite. One's lawful, one's chaos. So let's not do that. So maybe maybe we'll say lawful and authority. 
as we'll just kind of put her on there again kind of you know she's part of the you know she's part of nobility she's part of the you know the established church you know she thinks you know regardless of what the church's opinion or the god's opinion is she's got a vested interest in people like you know letting her stay at the top of the heap uh so we'll go for that so there might be a little bit of egoism in these uh you know kind of uh thoughts but i think that'll be fine so we're going next. Now, this I don't think is great. So we're going to hit four and we're going to see what happens. No, I said three, right? So one, two. That's pretty darn good. That sucks. I'm going to I'm automatically going to change my role because we can't we got to have something good in here. I, I know I said that, but but, you know, that's terrible. Here we'll go for this. What if we hit optimize? What does that do for us? That's not terrible. I can live with that. We don't need, you know, we still got two nines in there. You know, this is maybe not a great one to have, but we could put a point into this if we wanted to, right? Um, and bring it up to 10, and so we're not taking a, a wisdom hit. Uh, we could also flip that dexterity to wisdom. I think that's what we do. I'm going to put this back up here. I'm going to put this one here. I think the wisdom makes more sense. She's going to be in heavy armor. I don't think we're going to need the dexterity very often. So I think we go this route. I would rather have the bonus in there for, for you know, kind of the religion checks. So we got no 18s, but, uh, you know, we could easily get strength and charisma up to 18 using our bonuses later. So we'll go for, we'll go for next. Uh, athletics, insight, medicine. I'm going to go into medicine and... Athletics? Insight's probably better because this is going to... We'll go for it. We'll get somebody with athletics. Language, again, old Sumerian. But you know what? I think we'll go dwarvish, right? Maybe, maybe she's been studying up with the snow dwarves. Maybe, you know, there's a monastery or something up there that she's been studying at. Maybe that's where they met. So we'll give her dwarvish for her ancestry. Well, for a language. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, maybe her family's traditionally lived up in the north in the snowy hills with the dwarves, and that's why it's that. So then we could take, um, I don't know. Uh... Yeah, elemental plane, right? That makes sense. Again, we're an elemental god. And, uh, I don't know, how about orcish? Sure. There we go. Um, do we have a random option here for these? I'm not a huge fan of these. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the family names are. Dudley? Okay. Eliza Dudley. Okay. I, I'm actually, oddly enough, okay with that name. I think that's just fine. Um, I don't know. I was going to say, do we go... We'll just... We'll, we'll go with this face. I'm fine with that. Let's go with that. I don't know what our origin is supposed to be, but, you know, maybe, maybe we should look more Viking-esque if we live up in the snowy mountains, but I'm okay with this. My real... Really seeing huge differences in these faces. Let's go there. Hair is the issue, I think, for me. <laughs> mm, excuse me. So one, two, eh. Still, though, you know, um, Let's go for that. That looks cool. I like that. Got the hair pulled back a bit in the braids. Yeah, that that's badass. Um, eye color, she's got the weird kind of goldish color almost, right? I like it. That's okay. Uh, physique. Uh, we probably should have done this to the dwarf. I forgot about it, but he was what he was. Um, Age-wise, yeah, we'll make her young. I think that's fine. Buff, right? She's got a fair amount of strength there. Uh, Blessed are the light bringers. Hold firm, you've endured worse. Hold firm, you've endured worse. Kind of horrible. A little light is always welcome. We'll go there. 
All right, so I, I like that. So we got Eliza Dudley there all sorted out. So we'll go ahead and finish her off. So we let's go ahead and we'll, we'll just look at the personal one. So uh, we got another achievement for making a paladin. So we still need a rogue for sure. And that character, do we go Marsh Halfling or Half Elf for that? Um, let's go Marsh Halfling. So I think we're going to do a Rogue and a Ranger for the next two. So maybe the Ranger will be the Half Elf, or potentially a High Elf, actually. That would be fine. We got Marsh Elf and Island Halfling. Or Marsh and... Marsh Halfling and Island Halfling. So, uh, decks of two. Island gives us more charisma and uh, advantage on acrobatic checks. Okay. Marsh gets us constitution of plus one. And areas with marshes and ponds and humid atmosphere are considered swamp terrain. Okay. I guess. I don't know. I guess if we're making a ranger and we have, you know, preferred terrain, that's useful. Um, so constitution of plus one, couple languages, or charisma plus one, and uh, a few more languages. Do we care about that for this character? We did a little, we've got the paladin already. Or, yeah, paladin has good charisma and our cleric has good charisma. So I don't know that we need it. So I'm going to go with the marsh halfling for our rogue. Uh, they give us another female to start with on this one. That is fine. No issues with that. We're going to go rogue. Um, do we want this to be a ranged fighter? We probably want... I'm wondering if we go with this, if we go with the ranger, do we go with maybe a melee ranger? Or do we go with both the rogue? Yeah, because we're doing a crossbow with our cleric, right? So we're going to want somebody else probably up front. So maybe the rogue will go ahead and we'll go more for a ranged character. Um, we can still get our sneak attacks and stuff. Um, I think that'll play in. And then we don't have to waste time trying to get uh, weapon finesse and stuff like that. Um, we'll go with... Uh, Maybe a short bow or something like that, or, or another crossbow. If we go with a short bow, which is what they gave her here initially, then she gets the arrows and the cleric gets the crossbow bolts. So that would work pretty well. So I think we're going to go with this. And again, we can make uh, basic ammunition here. It looks like light armor, dex, intelligence. Yep. Um, well, obviously, we're going to go. We can go low life, cell sword, or spy. I'm going to go low life, actually, on this one. It's a little odd for this character to maybe be with our paladin and our uh, cleric. But you know what? They're proselytizing out to the world, you know. There's no issue with having the, you know, the occasional, you know, thief or low life that maybe is coming along. And you hope they're going to see the light and you're willing to put up with them, you know, a little bit for that. Uh, we'll see. Um, I think we're going to go caution. Which... I guess is kind of in the middle, but more on the evil side. And and a little greed. Are we back over here? And we'll go with maybe some caution and uh, maybe a little bit of pragmatism here, right? I like that. So we doubled up on caution. You know, I think that fits. And, and we're that's one of the reasons why we're a back backline thief rather than one that gets up and mixes it up, right? We're, uh, let's stay back a little bit. We'll let the paladin take the hits. I like that. I like that. So that, that, that works well for us. Um, this is not a bad first start. That would get us a 17 and a dex and a 15 or maybe a 14 on our con and two other 14s to put out. Um, I don't hate that. I think that's what we're going to go with. We'll just go with this first roll here. So if we go there... And then I'm going to put that in there. And uh, we'll put an intelligence one in there. And do I want to go with strength? We're not probably going to be mixing it up that much, but we already have charisma. We've already got wisdom in there. We'll, 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 give, we'll give her some strength, and then, and then we'll use wisdom and charisma as kind of our dump stat, so to speak. There's nothing wrong with those. Um, we might want strength for something, if nothing else, to carry stuff, right? It's not bad. We can dump our first stat bonus into dexterity to get that to 18 um and then yeah we'll figure it out from there 
I think that works. So we get class skills, um, and we get four of them, and then a couple class expertise, which I think are these two here. So um, we put somebody in athletics already. I'm going to go acrobatics. Um, we already get those, right? These are class stats. So we took acrobatics. Um, investigation? I don't think we have anybody with that. Um, perception's probably a good one. And insight? I'm going to go insight. I think that will be just fine. Uh, and then our class expertise. We get two of those for that. We can put some more in. Um, sleight of hand is our lock picking and stuff, right? Uh, maybe. Let's see. We attempt a manual trickery, planting something, concealing an object, make a dex check. Okay. Um, thieves tools. We want to put a point in that. So that gets us up to plus seven. Um, I'm going to go investigation, actually, right? You know, that's part of being that, you know, pragmatism, but also the caution. You want to check things out, want to make sure you know what you're getting into before you get into it. I think that's okay. Um, we get our common and our halfling language, and that's it. Um, I'm fine with this look. Let's see what they give her for a name. Tups? Ellie Tups. I'm good with that. I think that works just fine. Welcome to the party, Ellie. All right, so one more achievement unlocked. It's rogue, not rouge. <laughs> I do like that. All right, so we need one more final character, and it's going to be a ranged character. And I think it's going to be a ranger. The question is, do we go for the the extra dex? Um, we could go with the Sylvan Elf. That's a dex plus two. We get a bonus to wisdom. Um, I kind of think... So now in this case, we're thinking this is going to be a melee character rather than a ranged character. So they do get survival athletic skills and advantage on survival when hunting. If we go with the high elf, we get a bonus to intelligence. Some cantrips. Cantrips not necessarily a terrible thing to have. If we go half elf, we lose the, the bonus to dexterity. Um, we get a charisma bonus of two plus two other scores by one point. We'll be a very charismatic party, to be honest, if we go this route. Um, see normally in dim light and in natural darkness as if in dim light. And we got the same thing here, dark vision. Uh, really, the only person who's not going to be able to see in the dark is our paladin, right? Or in dim light. Right, he's got dark vision. Dark vision. Yeah, really, the human's the only one without it. That's okay, though. That's okay. That melee character has to be up close. We've got options to light people up. Um, I'm going to go with this. I think the charisma plus two isn't that super useful for us, but the two and others are good. Um, we can use them to get an odd stat up to an even stat. Um, yeah, I like that. And we're going to go Ranger. Yes. Okay, favorite enemy. Um, many of them have magical abilities. I don't know. Um... I'll go Undead. I think Undead's a good one. Um, forest is fine. What are other options? Coast, Arctic, Desert, Grassland, Swamp, Mountain. I don't know. Maybe we go Mountain. Maybe again, you know, the Snow Dwarf, you know, from the hills and the cold bit. You know, we could go Arctic too, but I think I'm going to go Mountain. Um, scale Mail, Longbow... Short sword. Um, I 
dual wield on this character? Okay, I think, yeah, we can do that. We'll kind of see how the scale mail turns out for us. All right. Um, I'm going to go sell sword on this one. We know that there's an obvious bonus to spy because it does give us a little insight into one of the things, but, but let's go sell sword. All right. Um, we did go sell sword, so let's go a little cynicism, right? That puts us down here on the chaos end. And uh, I think that's fine for a nature one. And also maybe a little bit of kindness, right? We'll, we'll, we'll kind of go in on that. Um, and then same thing down here. Um, I'll do some pragmatism. And we'll do some cynicism. And we'll see how that goes. Make for an interesting party with, with a cynic with all the religious guys. But you know what? They can prove it because, you know, by casting stuff. Oh, wait, so... Uh, yeah, that's terrible. That's not. So if we go here, and... Hmm. Now, if we're going to go dual wield, we may want to do a weapon finesse, especially with that 18 dex. So strength isn't as important. So if we go con... And then we give ourselves oops, a boost there. And then we go Wisdom. And we give ourselves a boost there. Then we go 12. We're going to get a plus 2 to Charisma. So that's going to make that an 11. And then an 11 here? I think that's okay. It's not terrible. I don't know if that's our best average or not it's pretty close okay so what do we got going on so um i'm gonna say acrobatics and animal handling i'm gonna go survival then class skills we'll put one in nature just because we should, even though we don't have a big boost for it. And maybe one into Insight. And I guess one into... No, I'm going to put another one in Perception. Perception's always good. Um, and we get... Uh, language. Um, let's go Goblin. Sure. And a background language and maybe again... Uh, maybe half light. Okay. Not too bad. I'm okay with that. What do we get for a name? Reed? That's not bad for, for a, a... I mean... Maywin Reed? I'm okay with that. I want more... I want green hair, though. With a dark green... And eye color will also go with the green, right? This is this is our sylvan. Oh, this is a half elf, but maybe it's a sylvan half elf, right? Yeah, that's what we're saying. That's what we're going with. And uh, yeah, I think. What else am I missing? Uh, physique, we can boost that up. She's she. Yeah, she's not super strong, but we'll put her kind of in there somewhere. Damn! Light, my friend. We'll go there, and I think that's. Oh, another character is already using that name? Which name? Eh, I'm not a fan of that. Oh, it's got to be the first name. Going back to Reed. So let's, uh. Eh. Lila? It likes that. All right. So I'm going to say these are going to be our first four characters, and we will come back next episode, and uh, we'll start the mission. We'll see how it goes. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time with some more Celasta, Crown of the Magister. Cheers.